Hello and welcome to Centurion's Corner and today we are going to be doing the floors. So we've done the walls, we've done the ones with the windows and stuff like that and this will just give it the extra detail that it needs when you're taking those photos. And this is a very basic floor, this is not going to be all over the top and stuff, just going to have those extra details there. So I kind of want it to the width of the A4 board what I've got here. Uh, so I can actually put three sides around it and make it look like an end alleyway. So just cut down with your knife, go as deep as you can, and you can actually snap it off uh, so you don't have to score all the way through. And then once you've done one, you can actually just use the other part as a template and uh, using that square. And then with those extra little bits, just put them to one side. We may be using them at a later date. So now we have our squares, I'm just simply using the width of the ruler here to score down with a pencil to make a pavemented area. I'm actually bringing this out and doing it for Scar Paris. Uh, so I'll be sending it over to him and he wanted like a pavemented area. Mine's very basic and I'll show you at the end of the video. It's more of a concrete kind of alleyway. Uh, so with this I'm just literally scoring it down with the width of that ruler. Uh, once I've done it this way, I'll literally just turn it around and then finish it off by going the other way. So now you've finished all your squares, I'm just literally using the scalpel here. I'm going to take out a corner because I really want this kind of raised up part of this pavement to look like really cracked and stuff. Sometimes it helps as well when you're actually standing the figures like they can actually rest their sort of ankles on it um, if you want to get them in a more of a dynamic pose. And then the other parts I'm just going to go around with a scalpel or a pen, just etch into those sort of pavement bits, make cracks and dents and stuff exactly the same way that we did for the walls. And if you're not too sure of that, Go back to the uh, walk tutorial as well and um, it goes into more detail with that. So now I've got a bit of foil and I've rolled it up into a ball and just adding those extra little dents all over the part, just adding those extra little details in there to stop it to looking too perfect in those places. So you can roll around in one area to make it more dented, roll it around in another part just to give it a little bit of rubble look and um, just do it to what you feel. So using some PVA glue, I'm going to put that triangle part back in but at an angle so it's going to look like it's really raised and it's really cracked as well. And if you have done the window tutorial, you should have some little cut out pieces that we used there to like actually the bits that have come out from the windows. So I'm just going to use some scissors to make some like bits of rubble and bits of stone. And with the PVA, I'm literally just going to simply glue it into random places around on it. So it looks like stones and rubble. So it looks a little bit more realistic. So now grab some paint, white and black, to make a nice grey. It's up to you what kind of gradient of grey that you want to use for your pavement here. And then add a splash of water in there so it really can actually move across as well. And as you can see, I'm just going to finish it off here with a light grey. And I forgot to record as well. But once it was dry after this light grey, I went over with a black wash, the same kind of way that we had done with the walls previously. So now the ground's all set, make sure you put those black washes into the dents and the, all the other little bits of rubble that you've put around. And I went to the hobby shop and I actually found these sort of like a plastic kind of used leaves and I thought what a great idea, they come with all the autumn colours and stuff. So I'm just cutting off the ends so they look more like leaves as well for our 6 inch sort of size. And then what I do with the PVA, I just simply glue them into place so it gives that little extra bit of detail, looks a bit like trash on the floor or a bit of autumn leaves and stuff like that and it just gives it a little bit of vibrant colour as well. So that's it, just simply pull it all into place uh, and that's with your PVA glue, just let it dry, uh, take your time with it as well and if you've got your radiators on just slide it underneath your radiator there on the floor. Uh, especially if you haven't got any pets and all that and um, yeah just let it dry and away you go and I'll see you in two minutes to put it all together. So there we have it just putting those bits together it's just an easy cheap way of making a diorama piece for your bottom part there so I've asked Callum what he wanted and we just got all these extra little leaves on here we've got all these extra little stones cracks and stuff and he just wanted a basic floor kind of little pavement edit area Yes, we can raise up areas, we can put a sidewalk on here and a bit of a road and a stop sign and stuff. But at the moment, we're just keeping it very basic, just very sort of minor and just an easy way to finish off a quick diorama. 
I mean, these are probably a little bit more of an upgrade to what I actually originally made uh, for mine, which was just a concrete base down here because it was an alleyway. I didn't want a road or anything like that. So we've got a smash down here and a few cracks and stuff. And all these extra areas where I was testing, I've obviously added to um, Callum's. And I would actually say Callum's looks better than mine, to be honest with you. Uh, and with that, we can actually just bring in the last parts as well, what we've been doing. So we can actually put the full diorama area into play here now. So all these videos now are actually on the channel. So we've got the uh, kind of walls areas that are made up. Um, I've got to think of a way really to um, do it there, but it's just a case of balancing it all uh, and looking pretty cool. So we just bring that down a little bit, get it more centered down on here on the actual channel part or on the video, shall I say. And yeah, I mean, now we've got a little sort of like alleyway. Looks like someone's going to get sort of like blocked in at the end, you know, and then we've done the video where we made a kind of barrel on this part. We've also made these parts as well, which is like a bit of trash on this side with a trash bag as well that you can put down. And then straight away, you're sort of building up this diorama. We've got those extra little bricks and stuff that we've added as well. So just chuck all those little extra parts there. I've still yet to do the tutorial on making the palette, but it's very simple. But uh, yeah, we can just put that on the back there and um, just resting it up. And then straight away, we've got this little alleyway that we can just put things with. And then, I don't know, let's just bring in maybe like a Robocop or something on there. And um, yeah, just taking nice little pictures of it on the diorama. Uh, just adding those extra little lights there. You can dull down the lights, put some extra little lights in there. So um, let's just bring down the lights on this part, this side. I um, don't think it kind of represent representations on the actual camera. So we bring that down. And I think I've got some filters um on my lenses you know so just putting some lenses over there on those actual sort of lights as well you know you can sort of play with all those parts play with the shadows as well by twisting your lights around you can get some really nice shots in there so uh yeah it's just that's kind of bare basics of a very basic tutorial of a diorama floor and com combining it with all the other videos that we have done as well and you can really just make that kind of little real world come to life rather than your toys just sort of like sitting on the shelf so uh yeah thanks for joining me on this one let me know in the comments down below if you've been trying these at home uh, and also send the pictures to me on instagram because i'd love to see them and um, i'll share the stories as well and share all your work so thank you so much for joining me this one don't forget to comment down below subscribe ding that bell follow me on instagram and i'll see you next time take care bye